How you guys doing? This is important, of course, in reference to my family history and my mother and father and my grandparents and my family history of wealth. This man that's damaged my teeth was trying to put his labeling and his signature mutilations on my anatomy. Now, we need to see this man's financial information in America. You know, because my parents gave me the estates, which had trillions of dollars in it that most people are aware of in reference to information. You know, because my parents put everything in my birth name when I was young. And, but my parents still had a few billions of dollars in their name. But, you know, I'm the owner of everything of my mother and father's estate since I was, you know, a baby. But this man that has damaged my teeth violated the beauty of my teeth genetics that came from my mother and father's genetics. You know, so in reverence to the information, the facts of this man trying to mutilate and causing damage to my teeth, trying to put his signature damage, trying to put his claim on my rights of my anatomy and the fact that I'm the child of my mother and father, that man needs to face the death penalty. My parents were two of the richest people in this country and in the world. So in reverence to this satellite man, in reverence to international business and some things too, this man tried to mark on me tried to brand on my body, claiming he thought he owned me as he was trying to steal my identity and my wealth, violating my anatomy is what this man has done and his people. We need to see the man's financial portfolio in the courtroom and the man must show up in court and all his people that are involved. Don't forget, my parents owned energy companies, gas stations, grocery stores, Farmland, amusement parks, movie theaters, TV stations and radio stations and movie production companies and news networks and a lot of other things and department stores and convenience stores, you know, and lots of other things and fashion designing, clothing companies and manufacturing of products and goods. You know, but this government man did this shit to my teeth, claiming he thought he owned me. Claiming he was going to put his stink or his shit markings on my royal, anat royal anatomy. They messed with my mouth. He was trying to put his shit markings on my royal anatomy. And he had damaged my teeth. We need that government man in court. Now, let's look at the information. Look at who the two richest people in American history are. My mother and father, right? And I'm the child of my mother and father, and I'm the owner of my mother and father's estates. And my grandparents were super rich, too, you know. But this man thought if he held me hostage and he, if he lied his ass off, he thought he would be able to cover up the facts of documents of information of my identity and who my parents are. Which obviously from the from the get-go of the first time he attempted, he was in the wrong. Because inside the treasury, there's a vault that has my information in it and my mother and father's information and my grandparents' information in this vault that's in the center core somewhere in the U.S. Treasury and some other treasury departments. It's in vaults that you, dirty government man, could never get to. But some of the people over there would say, you can try, but you'll probably get killed. And they have all the information of some things in the center of China and, and in Japan and Korea. They got information. Italy, France and England and Ireland and Great Britain and some other countries, even in Mexico even in Canada, of my identity and who my parents are. And there are all protocols in many countries of who I am and what I'm the owner of. I mean, there's certain acknowledgments of other countries having, you know, there might be some countries that have other royals, but, you know, the royal protocol in the media, because my father owned media technology 
and media cameras, technology, processes of, you know, certain things in reference to building networks of, you know, multimedia and, you know, you know, back in the day, fiber optics and digital and other things. Lots of things of importance, of which, you know, I'm the owner of my mother and father's estates under my birth name. Can't give nothing away to nobody, not never. Never signed, never, never gave, never, never sold, never. Own the Roll Muffin stores, how you guys doing? And other companies, lots of things of importance. You know, people should be making videos. I haven't seen any videos of the Roll Muffin stores or the Royal Fish ships, you know, because my father and mother and my grandparents had companies that built, you know, fish, you know, or they built ships too. But, you know, the aquatic uh, advancements in reference to shipbuilding and, you know, companies that I'm the owner of, reference to my, under my birth name and things like that are, you know, very important and they're, they're documented, you know, and... Uh, I haven't received anything from any of them if they sent me anything in the mail. I haven't received anything from the Coast Guard either if they tried to send anything. But, you know, this government man claimed that his stature, he thought he outranked my parents' stature in America and in European or international stature. And this man has damaged my teeth like he was trying to put his name on my royal DNA. My European royal and American royal history and international history of, you know, family acknowledgments or family tree of business history of, you know, the family tree of my mother and father and grandparents and great grandparents on back, you know, is family tree information. But, you know, in reference to companies, I'm the owner of the companies and, you know, the companies do business with certain countries. But this government man thought it was funny to damage my teeth. And putting his markings on my upper lip like he thought he owned somebody. We need that man's financial portfolio. There's no way anybody would ever own me in any fucking way. Not never. I'm the child of my mother and father. My real birth parents. So in reference to the government man that has damaged my teeth. You need to go into court and we need to see what your net worth is. We need to see who you are. Then you'll say, oh, well, there's some Middle Eastern man with wealth over there. But see, you know, you don't own me, and neither does no politician. Politicians don't own me either. I'm the owner of my mother and father's estates. And a reference to your impersonators or your people trying to steal my identity, government man. Your people need to go into court. You had no right damaging my teeth. My teeth, are, my teeth are naturally big, and they're bigger than yours. And my teeth are naturally big because my mother and father had big teeth. And I don't give a fuck whether you like big teeth or not. My teeth are my teeth. I don't care if you are hateful in your opinion. That you don't like men that have bigger penises than you, or pe men that have big penises. Your opinion is your opinion. I'm not gay. My rights outrank your fucking opinion. My penis size is based on my mother and father and family history and grandparents. Not on your opinion. And you need to get arrested for trying to steal my penis. And if you stole any of it, you have to get prosecuted. If you damaged my face or teeth, you have to get prosecuted. You don't like my looks? Don't look at me. I don't even know what you look like, psycho man. And it's messing with my throat. You better go into court. I don't give a fuck what you don't like. People can live their lives in America without giving a fuck what you think. That's why the country has freedom laws. Freedom of expression. Freedom of speech. Freedom to smile without having damage on their fucking teeth from you and your goddamn satellite controllers. Better list all the reasons why you damaged my teeth. They'll say, oh, they thought you said something wrong. We need to see the time and date that you thought somebody said something wrong. If you take any, took anything out of context, you can get put on trial. You can get put on trial for the death penalty, too. Or life in prison. For damaging my face based on your lack of comprehension of the English language or American culture. 
of different things, whatever your fucking problem is, you're in the violations, not me. I'm the child of my mother and father. You're not. I'm the owner of my mother and father's estates. You're not. Nobody else is. Just me. And that's the way it is forever. You better go into court, government man. You have no right damaging my teeth or marking on my teeth. You have no right slandering my teeth. My teeth are real. But the satellite man was trying to say something stupid. He said, oh, your teeth are too big. No. My teeth are supposed to be big, dumbass. It's a very unique quality of my mother and father's DNA. You tried to damage my teeth and you tried to make my teeth look small and skinny. You tried to make my teeth look like your German race or your Middle Eastern race or whatever the fuck you are. I'm not your race. My teeth are not your race or DNA. You had no right and you won't ever have any goddamn right damaging anything on my body or putting your racist fucking markings on my body. You have no legal right. You're violating my life. You're violating my personal life. You're violating my public life. You're violating my identity. You're violating my family history. And you're violating family law. You better learn how to control yourself and your own family and stay the fuck out of mine, dirty government man. You're not a friend of mine. You won't ever be a friend of mine. Your activities and captivity games or hostage games or illegal detainment and your activities of abusing me and stealing from me and holding me hostage and your sex crimes of damaging my face and teeth and your people trying to steal my penis, whatever you stole, you can get put on trial for the death penalty. In reference to your people blocking me from my mother and father's estates, you can get put on trial. I'm the only child of my mother and father. And your fantasies that you wanted to get away with stealing my identity is criminal. And you must go into court, government man. It is treason and it's violations of international law.